Greetings in Jesus' name. Today I would like to summarize the book of Proverbs. Um, King Solomon is the principal writer of the book of Proverbs. And Solomon's name appears in chapter number 1, verse 1, and in chapter number 10, verse 1, and chapter number 25, verse 1. Now, we may also presume Solomon's collected and edited Proverbs other than his own. For Ecclesiastes chapter number 12, verse 9, it says, Not only was the teacher wise, but also he imparted knowledge to the people. He pondered and searched out and set in order many proverbs. And indeed, um, um, Hebrew title, Mishle Shalomon, is translated Proverbs of Solomon. Now, let us look at the date of writing the book of Proverbs. The Solomon's Proverbs were penned around 900 BC during his reign as king. The nation of Israel reached its pinnacle spiritually, politically, culturally, and economically. As Israel's reputation sought, so did Solomon. Now, the purpose of writing this book of Proverbs, um, knowledge is nothing more than an accumulation of raw facts. But wisdom is the ability to see people, events, and situations as God sees them. In the book of Proverbs, Solomon reveals the mind of God in matters high and lofty, in common, ordinary, every situation. It appears that um, no topic escaped King Solomon's attention. Matters pertaining to personal conduct, sexual relations, Business, wealth, charity, ambition, discipline, politics, and godliness are among the many topics covered in this rich collection of wise sayings. I only want to read two key verses um, in this book, which is chapter number one, verse five. It says, let the wise listen and add their learning. And let the descending get guidance. And then verse 7, it says, um, um, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fool despite wisdom and discipline. Now, brothers and sisters, summarizing the book of Proverbs is a bit difficult, for unlike many other books of Scripture, there is no particular plot or storyline found in its pages. There are no um, principal characters in this book. It is wisdom that takes center stage, divine wisdom that transcends the whole of history, peoples and cultures. Now, the theme of wisdom and its necessity in our lives find its fulfillment in Christ. We are continually exhausted in the Proverbs to seek wisdom, to get wisdom, and to understand wisdom. Proverbs also tell us that, and repeats it, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. In verse 7 and chapter 9, verse 10. Now, our fear of the Lord, or um, our fear of the Lord's wrath, and justice is what drives us to Christ. Huh? In Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, we find the answer to our search for wisdom, the remedy for our fear of God, and the righteousness, holiness, and redemption that we so desperately need. The wisdom that is found only in Christ is in contrast to the fullness of the world, which encourages us to be wise in our own eyes. But Proverbs also tell us that the world's way is not God's way and leads only to death. 
Now, brethren, there is an undeniable practicality found in this book. For sound and sensible answers to all manner of complex difficulties are found within its 31 chapters. Proverbs is the greatest book ever written. And those who have the good sense to take Solomon's lesson to heart will quickly discover godliness, prosperity, and contentment are theirs for their asking. Now, the recurring promise of the book of Proverbs is that those who choose wisdom and follow God will be blessed in numerous ways. With long life, in chapter number 9, verse 11, Prosperity, chapter number 2, verse 20. Joy, chapter number 3, verse 13. And the goodness of God, chapter number 12, verse 21. Those who reject him, on the other hand, suffer shame and death. In chapter number 3, verse 35. And chapter number 10, verse 21. Huh? To reject God is to choose nothing over wisdom. And is to separate ourselves from God, His weight, His wisdom, and His blessings. Let me say it again as, as I close. To reject God is to choose nothing over wisdom. And is to separate ourselves from God. To separate ourselves from His weight, from His wisdom, and from His blessings. May God bless this summer and bless you as well. In Jesus' name, amen.